This is Paul from Plantland, and we're going to talk a little bit about the seeds that you're actually going to buy to do seed starting. Here at Plantland, we have a full inventory of new seed for 2022. That's very important. You have to remember that uh, a lot of the lower quality, lower cost seeds that you find at other places, sometimes are old seed that's being repackaged. Sometimes it's, it's just old seed that doesn't have dates on it. But when you buy seeds at Plantland, you're always going to see on the package that it was packed for, for the year that it's being sold, packed for 2022. 20, 2022. Um, one of my favorite seed companies here is uh, uh, Botanical Interest. I really like their seed packets because they contain a wealth of information. And in fact, if you open a lot of these seed packets very carefully, if you take a blade of some kind and just cut the bottom and the top and, and cut the side, you'll find out that there's a whole nother story on the inside, lots more information actually on the inside of the seed packet about the seed you're trying to, the plant you're trying to grow. So we really like botanical interest for a lot of reasons. Very important to read the seed packets, both as you're buying them and both as you're, as you're planning to plant them and as you're growing the plants. It's why you should save seed packets even after you plant them so that you have some of that good information at your fingertips. Very briefly, I'm going to talk about tomatoes and what we mean when we say that a tomato is, let's see, well, that's a good one. Glacier bush tomatoes say that they are 50, a 55-day tomato. Aroma tomato, which I grow lots of, are 80-day tomatoes. It's important to understand that those numbers do not mean that it's 55 days from the time you plant the seed to the time you get that full fruit. What that number means is it's 55 days from the time the plant sets fruit, from the time the flower starts to turn into a tiny little tomato, to the time you get a full ripe tomato off of your plant. So here in Montana, we almost always have to do something like tomatoes. We have to put out plants because we don't really have 55 days of growing season from May when we'd be putting out small plants to September or earlier when we'd be wanting to harvest tomatoes. There's more explanation of this on our website, plant.land.com, where you can get all of the information about what seeds to start when and why. So, in our seed racks, you'll see that there's lots of variety. There's, uh, for example, I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different kinds of pumpkins. That's quite a few good choices for you to make, as opposed to your basic stuff. Uh, in corn, we have some choices that uh, relate to do with the flavor of the corn. In cucumbers, we have choices that relate to, to uh, what you're gonna do with them. We sell pickling tomatoes, we sell, uh, or tomatoes, pickling cucumbers, <laughs> and then we sell uh, cucumbers that are gonna be best for salads and things like that. We also sell some kinds of seeds for, uh, uh, cucumbers a good example. Space Master, if you're doing something more like container gardening, or you have, just have a very small space for gardening, we sell lots of seed uh, varieties and choices that are for plants that are smaller plants, but they still produce very flavorful fruits. This is Renee's Garden. This is another seed company we carry that we like a great deal. They do a good job too. Their seed packets are very interesting. They kind of open like a little book, some of them, and they have quite a bit of information on them that you can put to good use, uh, learning how to grow the things that you want to grow. Lots of good choices from Renee's, different varieties to some degree than some of the stuff that's from Botanical Interest. So you'll find a little bit of crossover, but you'll find some things different. And now we're going to go over to uh, the large seed, at first the large uh, packets of seeds that we sell, where we sell things like microgreens in much bigger packages of seed because you would be growing them in much bigger quantities. So that's kind of fun. Also have things like corn, carrot, beet, beans, some of the things that you might grow for preserving available in larger quantities. Later in the season, we'll also have bulk seed available for things like corn and peas, beans. Um, I think that's it, uh, where you can actually buy, if you want to, a much larger quantity of seed for a, a nice reasonable price. This is the rack of flower seeds from Botanical Interest. I'm going to do another little video on specifically starting flower seeds. Lots and lots of choices here for flowers that you can grow from seed very easily in Montana. 
Now some of them you're going to be starting quite early because you want to put out big plants. A few of these you're going to be able to plant directly in the ground. And then my favorite, lots of herbs. Um, herbs can be a little tricky to grow from seed. Some are, some are easier than others. We think of basil as being fairly easy. We think of chamomile and chive as being very easy to grow from seed. Rosemary, on the other hand, um, is something that's a little tricky to grow from seed, a little harder to grow from seed. You can do it, but you're going to have to apply all of your gardening skills that you've learned from us here at Plantland to be successful at it. Um, but seeds are a good thing to grow from seed. And then, I think Michelle can follow me around. We have some other varieties of seeds. This is a cornucopia from Renee's Garden. It's more of a budget line of seeds, so it's all very common varieties. If you were growing something in mass quantities, you might want to look at a product like this because it's going to offer you the biggest bang for your buck in terms of seed price. One of the other things you should look at is on our website, there should be the video I made last year about testing seeds you may have saved testing the germination rates of them. Um, it's a very interesting little video that I did about how I started some seeds in some plastic bags to see if they were still viable even after I had stored them for a year. So that's a really quick overview of seeds and it's Paula from Plantland saying happy gardening.